Hi, my name is Rafael Johnson, and today I'll be giving an overview of the market entry of McDonald's into the Jamaican market, the the operations of the company while they were in the Jamaican market, and you know, an overview of its, of its failure, of, of reasons for its failure. Now, McDonald's is one of the world's leading fast food chains, operating primarily from the United States. You know, they operate via a multi-domestic strategy. They have over 120. They have operations in over 120 countries. You know, operating 38,000 restaurants, um, serving a wide variety of meals um, to over 68 million consumers per day, with their um, their two million uh, two million employees. Sorry. Um, the company entered the Jamaican market via uh, franchising. The company opened its doors to the Jamaican public in 1995. They operated 11 stores and they operated for 10 years before the problem started. You know, the franchisee indicated that they wanted to pursue other business interests. Um, what happened from here was that the franchise owners rebought the license. Then they sent one of their senior managers with international managerial experience to overview the operations of McDonald's in Jamaica at the time, while they went on a search to find um, local, new local franchise, franchise owners. So, there were several reasons relating to the failure of McDonald's though. There were cultural reasons, you know, Jamaicans like to see value for money and the burgers are really small, so that was an issue. The next thing was that the company was using imported beef while local beef was available. Um, and the, comp the, the company had issues with this because the consumers started boycotting because of you know the lack of usage of locally produced meat. Other issues were that of um, market related. You know, the company was having issues saturating and penetrating the market. They were having issues with their competitors because the competitors were penetrating the market they were bigger competitors they were more established Burger King and KFC it was hard for McDonald's to compete with those two at the time other reasons were basically political and economic you know Jamaica was having a lot of crime related issues at the time you know and the economy was very slow and the realities did not live up to the expectations of the international franchise owners at the time other reasons were basically franchise related you know during the search the company indicated that they want franchise the franchise franchisees to dedicate their time and attention to the brand of McDonald's. They did they required that the person had no other business interests, especially in the restaurant field. They also wanted the person to do nine months of unpaid training in the United States. You know, training as it relates to the way of how McDonald's operates, its culture, and how it, it conducts its business. Um, there were other problems as well, you know, they were asking the franchisees to invest over $2 million US dollars as capital investment into developing the McDonald's brand in the country, in Jamaica, and that was also an issue. You know, Jamaicans should not feel weary though that McDonald's failed. They also failed in Barbados, Iran, Iceland, you know, those are just some of the countries that they failed, but they ensured that they didn't fail in the Indian market. The Indian market was a booming market well it's a booming market you know second most populous country in the world and one of the best economies to, to invest in at the moment so there were several concepts from international business management that was you know discussed in this case study we had marketing operations global logistics supply chain management organizational architecture um, global human resource management strategic operations just to name a few and these were all important concepts that came out during this case study of McDonald's' entry, operation and failure in the Jamaican market. Thank you for your time.